come to redeem us. Because the curse of the law was that we get put to death. You feel me? So the curse of the law was us getting put to death for various sins that we couldn't atone for. Plus, now that we're in captivity under the rulership of the Roman Empire, which is America right now, we have no liberty to sacrifice an animal. You feel me? Now give me uh, Romans 3.31. So we have to keep God's laws. That's the only way that God is going to be able to honor us by, by, honor us by accepting Jesus Christ. All right, so who was who was the Apostle Paul? Right, uh, well, he wrote he wrote a lot of letters in the in the New Testament. Right, he wrote a lot. Right, so was he teaching the laws of God? Because he he didn't he didn't it wasn't no Paul before Paul, right? What was he writing based off of? Okay, but what would the what would the apostles what did they utilize to teach the people? Okay, I'm gonna show you exactly what the Bible say what Paul was utilizing to teach the people. Read it. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 37. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that are right unto you are the commandments of the Lord. So the things that Paul wrote were the commandments of the Lord. Give me Romans chapter 6 and verse 1. Right. Right. And what was Christ teaching? He, he was teaching them the Old Testament, the laws of Moses. Right. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. But there were sub laws up under that, correct? Okay, read it. This is the book of Romans chapter 6, verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Shall we continue in sin? What is sin? Even though he did not everything that's contrary to the word of God you're right but I'm gonna show you what the Bible says what sin is because it defines itself read it this is the book of 1st John chapter 3 verse 4 whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law so whoever commits sin transgress the word transgress means to break right hold on hold on because remember this Bible was given to a specific group of people, the 12 tribes of Israel. These brothers and sisters right here. It's just like with your children. You write them, a, you give them a will, right? You got a life insurance policy for them. So if you die, the money goes to them. It doesn't go to everybody. This is the same thing with the Bible. It wasn't given for everybody. Just because your, your oppressor took it from you and says now, hey, look, it's for everybody, doesn't mean that it's true. It was it was written to the seven churches which are Israelites. The Israelites scattered abroad. Read that again. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Uh, for what? For sin is the transgression of the law. Go back to Romans. So sin is the breaking of God's laws. Thou shalt not kill. Don't uh, don't suffer a witch to live. Things of that nature, right? Don't steal from your neighbor. Those are the laws that we're supposed to be keeping. Read it again. Romans chapter 6 verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue to sin? So we should so what shall we say then? Shall we continue keep breaking God's laws? Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. I could just sleep with your wife. No. Read. That grace may abound. That grace may abound. What is grace? Forgiving us for breaking the law. So 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 what was the reason why Christ came? To redeem us from what? From and what were sins? Breaking the law, right? So he came. So here's the thing, right? If we in the Old Testament under the under the law of Moses, if I stole something, what did I have to do to be redeemed from my sins? You had to sacrifice. You had to sacrifice. You had to bring a turtle dove. You had to bring a lamb. You had to bring various animals to sacrifice, right? So if you commit adultery, what did you have to do to atone for your sins? You get put to death. There was no sacrifice for that. So that's why Christ came. 
because we were a lawless people, kept killing each other, kept committing adultery. A lot of us was getting put to death. Also, once we went into captivity, we didn't have no agriculture, no land, no animals to bring forth the sacrifice no more. You know what I'm saying? So Christ, so we all would get put to death. Because God said in his word that we would never, we would never decease. We would never, we would never cease to exist. So Christ had to come to redeem us. Because the curse of the law was that we get put to death. You feel me? So the curse of the law was us getting put to death for various sins that we couldn't atone for. Plus, now that we're in captivity under the rulership of the Roman Empire, which is America right now, we have no liberty to sacrifice an animal. You feel me? Now give me uh, Romans 3.31. So we have to keep God's laws. That's the only way that God is going to be able to honor us by, by, honor us by accepting Jesus Christ. You, you meditate there and day and night. So so look, I'm a, I'm a, so what does God say? Uh, right. Listen to this real quick. This is the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 31. Do we then make the void through the law through faith? Read it again. Do we then make void the law through faith? So do we now make void the law by having faith in Jesus Christ? Right. So you said that we're supposed to, once we are filled with the Holy Ghost, right? Okay, read on. I'm going to show you something about the Holy Ghost. Read it. God forbid. Read it from the top. Do we then make void the law through faith? So do we now stop keeping the law because of faith? Because once we believe in Christ, we're supposed to get the Holy Spirit, right? You understand? Right. Read it. God forbid. God forbid what? Yay, we establish the law. Yay, we establish the law, meaning we continually keep the law. Now give me John chapter 14. This brother, he says he belongs to a prophetic company out of Mexico. Uh -huh. And they go out and they teach. Uh, they establish their doctrine, right? Okay. But they also think that we're beyond the command. Understood. We, we, we're exactly what we're talking about. So hold on. Give me, uh, give me 14. Verse 15. Hey, listen to this, bro. This the book What's of... What's your name? What's your name? Yeah. Mundo. Mundo. This the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. So Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right? You love Christ? So what did Christ say about keeping the commandments? Huh? If you love him, keep the commandments. Right? So what is your doctrine? What is it that you believe? Read that again. If ye love me, keep my commandments. What is that that you believe? What is your doctrine? What were his doctrines? What were his commandments? By his love God and love everyone else. Love? Love? What is love? Love? Yeah. Agape. Agape? What is that? Agape. That's the word that he uses for love. What is it? It means to, to love everyone and everything else what, what is love your personal, your personal benefit okay so look so you from at, at, at where where again from where you from? mexico right all right so you got um the cartel in mexico right fighting against the mexican government against the police is, is that love is that love what about i'm asking you is that love what the, what the, what the cartel do when they kill when they kill people, is that love? For the action, right? Okay, so when the conquistadors came and took over Mexico, it killed the Mexicans from all, out of Texas, out of New Mexico. Okay, so what was the name of the land called? It had a name. Right, so that land mass, you know what I'm saying though, right? What are you saying? No, I'm saying so when the conquistadors, when they came with the Bible in their hand, said, hey, look, now you have to what? Keep Christ. This image. Wait, wait. Come over here. No, 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 no. Hold on. Come over here. Come over here. Let me show you something. So this image right here. Who is this? Who? So right. So this image right here. This is what the conquistadors call what Christ looks like in the Catholic Church, right? So when these when these people came over, they say, look, this is Jesus. This is agape love. But what did they do? They came with the sword also. They said, if you don't convert over, we're going to kill you. Right? Isn't that what they did? Was that love? 
So John 3.16, what was John 3.16 were my ancestors captivity on slave ships? Where, where was John 3.16 then? Where was love then? So love is an action word, right? I'm going to show you out of the Bible what love is. Read that. This the book of this the book of First John, chapter five, verse three. For this is love of God that we keep His commandments. Isn't that what Jesus said? What we just read in John fourteen fifteen. So keeping the commandments. We used to scream black power while Haran was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.